The 12th of July 2022 marked a special day astronomers, scientists, and space enthusiasts might never forget. It was the day the James Webb Telescope released its first batch of images to the world and calling them beautiful just might be the biggest understatement there is. The images take its viewers far and wide, millions of light years away, viewing distant pasts further and more precise than any have ever seen before. But the cosmos is notoriously known to spew more questions than answers, which is why these images, apart from their breathtaking views, also provide us with a lot to ponder about. Nevertheless, these images are a testament to how far Far we have come as a space-loving community. Let's dive in. A batch of five images was released by NASA for the world to see. The images showcased the universe's splendor. NASA's Jane Rigby, the operations project scientist for the James Webb Space Telescope, with a shortened amount of words, said that the images from the new telescope are really gorgeous, and when you hear it from an astronomer, you know that there's a whole lot of truth to it. She further added that something has been very true for every image we've gotten with Webb. We can't take a blank sky. Everywhere we look, there are galaxies everywhere. The images show five areas of space that researchers agreed to study. The exoplanet WASP-96b, the Southern Ring Nebula, the Carina Nebula, Stefan's Quintet, which is a group of five galaxies in the constellation Pegasus, and the galaxy cluster SMAX-0723. We currently have the pleasure of looking at all of them. The release of these images came one day after a breathtaking first image was published by NASA and the White House more than six months after the telescope was launched from Earth. The first image showed the galaxy cluster SMAX-0723, known as Webb's first deep field. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said in a statement, If you held a grain of sand on the tip of your finger at arm's length, that is the part of the universe you are seeing just one little speck of the universe. Like all things cosmic, this speck contains multitudes, and thanks to the telescope's deep and sharp infrared imagery, we regular folk are getting a more detailed look at distant galaxies than was ever possible. The first image shows thousands of galaxies with structures that are faint and diffused. NASA revealed, this deep field taken by Webb's near-infrared camera is a composite made from images at different wavelengths, totaling 12.5 hours, achieving depths at infrared wavelengths beyond the Hubble Space Telescope's deepest fields, which took weeks. The stunning displays amount to a rich lesson in the history of the universe, with some galaxies being more than 13 billion years old. This means that they formed relatively soon after the Big Bang, for example, the image of galaxy cluster SMAX-0723 represents a snapshot from 4.6 billion years ago. Researchers will still use the Webb telescope to study more than just the stunning views. They will also look at galaxy masses, ages, histories, and compositions. The Webb Space Telescope is the culmination of an international program led by NASA. Its partners include the European Space Agency, or ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency. I can't tell you how alluring this image is. You need to take a look for yourself. This picturesque backdrop is made of wonder, and its main focus is on the Carina Nebula, one of the brightest and largest nebulas in the sky. The Carina Nebula is located 7,600 light-years from Earth, spanning over 300 light-years across. The image includes Eta Carinae, a dying supergiant star that is about to explode, as well as Trumper 14 one of the youngest known groups of stars. Carina is a nebula, and nebulas are stellar nurseries. Carina is a big, active, and sometimes violent one. Amber Stroun, an astrophysicist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland, said, There's so much going on here, it's so beautiful. This stunning vista of the cosmic cliff of the Carina Nebula reveals new details about this vast stellar nursery. Today, for the first time, we're seeing brand new stars that were previously completely hidden from our view. The image is one of the most beautiful ones that has been released and shows what looks like cosmic cliffs, valleys, and mountains. The mountains seem to be seven light years tall. The image only captures a small part of the entire stellar nursery, 
a region called NGC-3324 at the northwest corner of the Carina Nebula. An excited NASA team revealed, the blistering ultraviolet radiation from the young stars is sculpting the nebula's wall by slowly eroding it away. Dramatic pillars tower above the glowing wall of gas resisting this radiation. The steam that appears to rise from the celestial mountains is actually hot ionized gas and hot dust streaming away from the nebula due to the relentless radiation. Another fascinating release from the web was Stefan's Quintet. The image showed a group of five galaxies that appear shockingly close together, about 290 million light years away from Earth. Four of the galaxies are locked in a sort of cosmic dance that will one day result in the quartet colliding. Three of the galaxies have an elongated spiral-like shape due to their interactions. The stars in the quintet span hundreds of millions of years of cosmic history, from newborn to ancient. Giovanna Giardino, an astronomer at the European Space Agency, said, This is a very important image and area to study because it really shows the type of interaction that drives the evolution of galaxies. With new data from the Webb telescope, scientists can study how galaxies can affect each other. The tight group of galaxies acts almost like a laboratory for scientists, and the data is still being studied as we speak. Researchers want to learn more about how galaxies merge and interact, including how supermassive black holes might impact these processes and how they might make new stars. The image portrays the quintet in a new light after they were represented as angels in Frank Capra's classic film It's a Wonderful Life. Remember that movie, folks? It's quite the classic. This enormous mosaic is Webb's largest image to date, covering about one-fifth of the Moon's visible surface. It is made from almost 1,000 separate image files and contains over 150 million words. When compared to the rest, the Southern Ring Nebula is closer to Earth, only 2,000 light-years away. A planetary nebula is a cloud of gas surrounding a dying star. The white dwarf at the heart of the nebula is so hot that it is blown off its outer layers, releasing intense ultraviolet radiation and causing the surrounding gas to glow. Carl Gordon, an astronomer at the Space Telescope Science Institute, explained that the new images show the shells formed by that gas and the patches of the nebula where starlight shines. He said, As we go into the center, we see kind of the surprise for us, which is, we knew this was a binary star, but we effectively didn't really see much of the actual star that produced the nebula. But now in Miri, this star glows red because it has dust around it. So in Miri, we got to see both stars very clearly. For those of you who are unaware, the Miri is short for Mid-Infrared Instrument on the James Webb Telescope. The observatory used mid-infrared wavelengths to capture the second star in the Southern Ring Nebula in great detail. The star orbits its companion, periodically ejecting layers of gas and dust. Together, they have created a great landscape of shells that are all different sizes and shapes. The new image gives a near head-on view of the nebula. Its three-dimensional shape would appear more clearly if we could see it from beyond its edge. It would appear to look like two bowls placed together at the bottom, opening away from one another with a large hole at the center. The last of Webb's first public science results were a spectrum, not an image, and it represented a number of different wavelengths of light emitted by an exoplanet nicknamed WASP-96b. The gas giant world is about half the size of Jupiter and is 1,150 light-years away. It takes this planet 3.4 days to orbit its star, and it has a unique cloudless atmosphere made largely of sodium. The only known cloudless planet, WASP-96b, has been an enigma and a prime target for further study since its discovery in 2013. And Webb's new data offers scientists more data than ever before about that strange atmosphere. According to Nicole Cold, an astronomer at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland, they can use other telescopes but not with this level of detail to explore exoplanet atmospheres in theirs. This is only one piece of data that Webb has provided us using the NIRIS system specifically. The NIRIS, or Near Infrared Imager and Slitless Spectrograph, is a scientific instrument that allows 
allows astronomers to study a variety of different types of celestial targets and help Webb achieve many of its scientific goals. Cologne goes on to explain, You get a bunch of what looks like bumps and wiggles to some people, but it's actually full of information. You're actually seeing bumps and wiggles that indicate the presence of water vapor in the atmosphere of this exoplanet. The analysis found the chemical fingerprint of water in the atmosphere. Exciting news for astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. The telescope is going to make history. The beginning of the observatory's tenure allows scientists to analyze data from the first targets right away as well as dive into its planned science observations. Research could start to give us new insights quickly as it begins to look at everything in our universe, from our solar system to the first galaxies. Now is the beginning of a new era for web scientists. What we know about the universe and how we think about it will be changed by Webb. I'll leave you with a wonderful quote by Amber Strawn, an astrophysicist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland, who said, Every dot of light we see here is an individual star not unlike our sun. Our sun and our planets and ultimately us were formed out of the same type of stuff that we see here. So what do you think? What other breathtaking views will the web send back to us? What major discoveries will the web make? And will we ever find a planet like ours? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching Space Traveler.